Hi everyone and welcome to today's class for spinal mobility. In today's class we will move the spine up, down, left, right in all directions. This is a great class to increase the mobility of the spine. However, I don't recommend this class if you really have some issues with your spine, if you have really bad back pain, I recommend you talk to your doctor and as always in yoga, only do what feels good. If something doesn't feel right, just stop doing it, rest in child's pose or just skip a pose. So let's get started in a seated position. Cross your legs in front of you. Find a comfortable seat. Bring your hands onto your knees. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Make your neck long and then close your eyes and arrive here in this room on a mat and ignore everything that's outside of your mat just for the next 20 minutes or so. Take one deep breath in, hold the breath and exhale through your mouth. Two more like this. Inhale through your nose. Hold the breath. And exhale fully. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Then open your eyes. We stay in a seated position. I just turn around so that you can see me better from this angle. And we start with simple torso cycles. So I want you to lean back first, spread the shoulder blades wide and round your back and then come over to the left side. Lean forward, bring your chest forward, shoulder blades together. Come over to the right side and we lean back and round the back. Inhale to move forward, open the chest, exhale to lean back, round the spine. Inhale and exhale, two more. In and out. Then switch direction, inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale, push the chest forward. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Maybe close your eyes here. Last one. And come back to center, extend your legs in front of you and we come to staff pose. Staff pose is simply sitting with your legs intended, extended in front of you. Bring your hands next to you and make your spine long. And I know this looks quite easy and it's not. Just stay here for a moment. And we will include a little twist here to start moving our spine. So with your next inhale, reach your arms up high. Stay here for a moment. And exhale. Inhale one more time. Make yourself long. And then exhale and we twist to the left side. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Your left hand is gently behind you for a really gentle twist. Relax your shoulders down, make your neck long. Yes. Inhale, reach your arms up high over your head. Extend your hands up to the ceiling and exhale, twist to the other side. 
make your spine long, pull your belly button in. This will make it easier to twist a little deeper. There should be no weight in your back hand. You should be able to lift it up anytime. One more deep breath in and out here. And then inhale, reach both of your arms up high again. Exhale, bring the hands down next to you. Cross your legs in front of you, roll over your knees and we come to a table position. We start or we continue our warm up of the spine with cat and cow. So make sure that your shoulders, your elbows and your wrists are aligned and that your knees are below your hips. And with inhale, we open the chest, look up, let your belly fall down and bring your tailbone up to the ceiling and exhale round the spine, press into the mat that your shoulder blades spread apart, pull the belly button in and tuck your tailbone under. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale to cat. Three more in your own pace. Last one. Then come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up high and push them to the back to downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment. So bend one knee and the other to open up the back side of your legs. Let your head hang heavy here. Press into your hands so that the insides of your elbows point forward. Yes. And then let's include a little movement here. So we will continue the movement that we had in cat and cow that we roll forward rounding the back and come down to an upward facing dog. So it looks like this. Come on to the toes, round the back, roll forward, come over a plank pose and then lower the hips down to upward facing dog. And come back to downward facing dog. Yes, let's try this again. Come on to your toes first, round the back, come forward to plank, let the hips sink down. Upward facing dog, look up, exhale and come back. One more, round the spine, forward to plank first. Let the hips sink down, open up the chest, look up and press back to downward facing dog. Great. Then look between your hands, Walk your feet forward that you come to a forward bend. I changed my position here, but you can stay at the top of your mat. And then grab opposite elbows and just hang here. This is a great exercise to lengthen the spine, to create space. Just let your head hang heavy. And if you want to intensify this, can interlace your hands behind your back and just bring your hands onto your head and this just puts some weight onto your head. Yes. Then let go of your hands, bring your hands down on a mat. Make sure 
your feet are hip width apart. And then bend your right knee, bring your right hand down on the mat and reach your left hand up high. So we are in this forward bend twist. Yes. And you can bend your right knee as much as it's needed. Try to create a straight line with your arms. Great. One more breath here. And bring the left arm down. We switch sides. Left hand or fingertips come down on a mat. Bend the left knee and reach the right arm up. Yes. Great. One deep breath here. And bring both of your hands down. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Yes. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, reach both of your arms up high. Come up to mountain pose. Great. Let's continue the stretch and the opening of our spine for the next pose. We spread the legs apart, that you are in a wide-legged stand. And then turn your right toes around that they face to the front of the mat. And we will come to triangle pose. So extend both arms out to the side first. And then reach your right arm forward as much as you can. Reach, reach, reach. And only if you reach the maximum, bring your right hand down either on your shin down on the mat or if you have a block close by also on your block and to reach your left arm up as high as you can. Yes. Stay here for a moment and then let's check in with our alignment. Make sure that you are in one plane so don't lean forward. Imagine there is a wall behind your back and both of your heels are touching this wall. Your hips is touching the wall and also your shoulders and your hand is touching the wall. Yes. Feel free to try this exercise against the wall. Sometimes this is really eye-opening. Great. Then gently bend the front knee and come back up to your right leg get stand. Turn the right toes around and we bring the left toes facing to the back. Extend both of your arms out to the side. Reach forward as high as you can and then bend at the hips. Bring the left hand down this time. I will bring it on my shin on this side and then reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Yes. Think about your shoulders that they reach back to really open up the chest here. And try to lengthen your torso here. So on the right and on the left side, your torso should be long and extended. Great. Both of your legs are extended. One more deep breath here. And exhale. And come back up to standing. Turn both toes into one direction and step your feet together. I will turn this away for you to see, but you can stay where you are. With your next inhale, reach both of your arms up high. Make yourself long, come up onto your toes. And now it's getting a little tricky. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart first, and then bend your knees and come down to a toe stand. Yes, this needs a little balance. Then make sure to bring your knees down a little bit so that your thighs are parallel to the mat. Yes, I know you can do this. Awesome. And we continue to include a little twist here. So bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Keep your balance. And then reach your left hand back. Yes. Similar to what we did at the beginning of class in staff pose. Maybe you find a vocal point in front of you to keep your balance. We are almost there. Yes. And come back to center. 
Bring your hands to a prayer first. Find your balance. And then bring the left hand to the outside of the right knee and reach the right arm back. Great. Almost there. Remember to keep your spine extended. Yes, and come back to center. And then bring your knees down your hands down, relax your toes and walk to the back of your mat. Bring your big toes together to touch, spread your knees out wide, sit down on your heels, extend your hands in front of you and come down to child's pose. Let's relax here for a moment. And slowly lift your head up a little bit. Walk both of your hands over to the left side as much as you can. Keep both of your sitting bones grounded on your heels and then relax back down to your child's pose. Yes. This includes a really nice stretch for the spine and also for the right side of the body. Then inhale, lift the head up, walk both of your hands over to the right side your, especially your left sitting bone should press down and then relax your head down and relax. Then lift your head up high, walk back to center, lift your hips up and lay down on your mat, belly down. Our next pose is great for the lower back. You can bring your forehead down on the mat and you can choose here. So either you lift up your right arm and your left leg here and then switch side after a moment or if you feel strong enough you can lift up your head your torso your arms and also your legs for lactose pose really reach your fingertips forward and your toes back try to lift your thighs up from the mat only if it's a really really millimeter here Stay strong. Two more breaths here. And relax down. Make a pillow with your hands and swing your hips from left to right. Then extend one arm in front of you and roll over to your back. Bring both of your feet down on the mat so that your knees are pointing up. Then bring your arms next to you. And our next pose is bridge pose, but we will not stay up in bridge pose. We will come up and down 
and I want you to really focus on your spine here. So starting with your lower spine, with your tailbone, to lift your tailbone up as slowly as you can. Lift up vertebra by vertebra. Yes, until your hips are high and you can't go higher. Stay here for a moment and then vertebra by vertebra roll back down. Move really slowly here. Yes. Let's do four more in your own pace. Slowly lift your hips up high. Pause at the top. And then slowly roll back down. You can close your eyes here and visualize how your spine is lifting up. And then how each vertebra is rolling back down. Make the next one your last. Lift up slowly. As high as you can. Yes. And then slowly roll down. And then bring your body over to the left side of your mat. Extend both of your legs to the front. Bring your arms over your head and touch your elbows here so that you bend at the elbows and you grab your elbows. And then first bring both of your feet over to the right side. Your hip stays where it is and then bring your head and your arms over to the right side. This pose is called banana asana. So we want to look like a banana here and then relax your shoulders down. Try to bring both elbows down to the mat. If one is high up, that's totally fine. And enjoy this really nice stretch on the left side of your torso. If you want to go deeper, you can cross your left leg over your right or just stay where you are and enjoy this nice opening. Close your eyes and take deep breaths into your belly. Then slowly open your eyes, bring your feet back to the left side of the mat and then bring your upper body, your arms and your head back to the left and bring your whole body over to the right side of the mat. We do the same on the other side. So first bring your arms over your head again, grab opposite elbows and then bring both feet over to the left and bring your head and your arms over to the left and close your eyes here. 
Big inhale and exhale and relax into this pose. And slowly bring first your feet back and then your elbows come to the center of your mat. Extend both of your arms onto your sides. Let your feet fall to each side. Bring your shoulder blades under your back. Make your neck long and take one more deep breath in through your nose. Hold the breath. And exhale fully. Shavasana. And slowly start to bring movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms over your head for full body stretch. And roll over to one side just for a moment. And come up to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs in front of you. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for showing up today. Namaste.